A tribute to a prospector and mine finder. The modern prospector in this National Film Board documentary of 1959 is Niels Agedius Anderson. He came to Canada from Denmark in February 1925 with a brother, four months in advance of his father and mother, and four younger siblings after the First World War had devastated Europe. They arrived in Montreal and soon became Canadian citizens. His father pursued the food canning business he'd left behind in Denmark, in Montreal, and later pursued textile importing. Niels went on to study geology at night school at McGill University, before joining the mining company Cominco's Exploration Division in the early 1930s. He pursued his prospecting career with Cominco from 1930 to 1940, interrupted by the war effort working with munitions manufacturer CIL in Nobel, Ontario during World War II, 1940 to 1945, after which time he established his own mining exploration company called Geometal Mines, based first in Toronto in 1945 and then near Barrie, Ontario in 1950 when he and his family moved north from the city. Geometal Mines explored many mineral prospects in Canada from the period 1945 to 1959, including an exciting Placer Gold prospect at Likely, B.C. in the Caribou region near Williams Lake. Neil's wife and three very young children arrived at the rustic Likely, B.C. mining camp in the dead of winter, 1948. A picture of the camp manager's wife, Mary Eater, and Neil's youngest son, Joel, depict the era and camp environment at that time. The family returned to Toronto in late 1949. He went on to establish the Anderson Greenland Syndicate in 1959 and secured exploration rights from the Danish government to explore Western Greenland for mineral opportunities. Working again with Cominco Limited as a partner, he formed the Anderson Greenland Syndicate and went to work in 1962 with provisions and a crew aboard the ship MV Polar Agedius, Newt Rasmussen's old vessel, to explore the Marmalik region of Western Greenland and Disco Island area. Between 1963 and 1965, while exploring West Greenland's mineral potential, Niels Anderson found what was to become the Black Angel Mine. The Black Angel Lead Zinc Mine was discovered across the fjord from an old marble quarry, 700 meters up a vertical cliff and 350 meters below the top. It was associated with a dark pelite outline on the cliff, long called the Black Angel by the Inuits. Greenex AS, a Danish registered company, and Vestgron Mines were established by the major shareholder, Kaminko and went on to be a significant producer of lead zinc ore for many years. Mr. Anderson was a director of the holding company, Vestgron Mines. After the Black Angel, Niels Agedius Anderson went on to establish the Green Arctic Consortium with J.C. Spruill and Associates of Calgary to explore favorable oil-bearing structures near Thule, northern Greenland. This formation of the Green Arctic Consortium paralleled the Canadian Arctic Oil Exploration Initiatives of the Pan-Arctic Consortium, formed between the Canadian government and the private sector in the late 1960s and early 1970s to open up the Canadian Arctic to oil and gas and other mineral exploration. The pursuit of oil and gas and minerals in northern Canada and northern Greenland continue today which follow other successful mine operations in the Eastern Arctic in the 1970s and 80s, including the Polaris Mine on Little Cornwallis Island, Northwest Territories, and the Nana Civic Mine on Strathcona Sound, North Baffin Island, both lead and zinc mines, and also since closed. These mining initiatives also paralleled the finding of the Baffinland Iron Mine, located near Arctic Bay 
on North Baffin Island, found in 1962 by Murray Watts and currently under development to go into plant production. On April 2nd, 1980, a large Canadian bank prepared a letter of introduction for Niels Agedius Anderson as he continued to explore for opportunities in northern Greenland in the later 1970s and early 1980s as follows. Dear Mr. Bannerman, attached is a copy of a letter of introduction we have handed today to Mr. Niels Agedius Anderson. Mr. Anderson is a well-known prospector in Canadian mining circles. He could be described as one of the last of the Vikings, as over the years he has organized several mineral exploration expeditions to the west coast of Greenland. One of these expeditions led to the identification of the Vestgran mine, which was eventually brought into production by Kaminko. Unfortunately, Mr. Anderson had to sell his Vestgran shares early and did not make much money on this transaction. He seems to be well connected in his native Denmark and as a result, he claims that he is in a position to obtain an oil exploration concession off the west coast of western Greenland. En route to Copenhagen, he would like to stop off in London to have a conversation with you, and possibly the International Energy Bank, with a view of obtaining some names of prospective candidates who might be interested in exploring this concession. Mr. Anderson may seem a little vague in his manner of expression, and we are not in a position to judge what he might be able to deliver by way of a mineral exploration concession. In any event, we would appreciate your seeing him. Expected date of arrival is April 8th, 1980. Yours very truly, DJ Worth. The prospector continues to operate today, as Niels Anderson did during his long career. The desire, will, sense of achievement and pure entrepreneurial spirit continue to abide as an integral part of this honorable and sometimes harsh, lonely, and often uncertain profession. <laughs>